St. Landry Parish now. The Opelousas Police Department could lose the annual pay of about $160,000 from the Evangeline Downs Racetrack and Casino. As Josh Minnie reports, members of the parish council want to redistribute that money since the department is no longer paying for the city jail. Recently, the jail, if you're aware, of Opelousas, the Opelousas City Jail, had to be closed down. So they, they don't manage jail anymore. There's, a, there's not even really a long range plan to rebuild the jail, although there's some, they're discussing it some. So that has certainly lifted a burden off of the city with regard to funding and operating a jail. Opelousas Police Chief Donald Thompson says the city saves about $260,000 per year now that they're not operating a jail. But Thompson says the savings doesn't mean the casino revenue should be taken away. No, I, I don't think that it will be a good thing. Certainly, uh, we need the casino money and more uh, to operate this police department. But the parish says they've taken on a huge financial burden by housing the city's prisoners. The parish jail has a maximum capacity of 232 prisoners, which they've been exceeding more often now since the Opelousas City Jail has closed. If we can't house them here, they're sent to an outlying facility that can take them in for us. And when they do that, that costs the parish $24 approximately and 50 cents per prisoner per day. Now if they're here at the parish jail, it's a little over $14 a day. The parish council will hold a vote on the ordinance at their meeting on October 17th. If it's approved, there will be a 30-day public comment period to help decide whether or not the casino revenue money will be redistributed back to the parish. Chief Thompson says he will be diplomatic, but he's going to argue for the funding to stay with OPD. The people that came before us worked too hard to get it. And nah, I'm not just going to roll over and let it, or let it be taken away from me just that easy. In Opelousas, Josh Many, KTC TV3.